Hey guys, Cody Giddy with Wild Wall Taxidermy. Today I'm going to show you how I skin for a rug mount. Um, this can be used on a life size skin as well, but this is the way to do it for rugs. Um, this is the same on your mountain lion rugs, bear rugs, all the way down to your coyote, your fox, your raccoon rugs. Um, there's a few incisions that you will need to make. I will show you in this video. This is an educational video, so you might see some stuff that you don't like, but just bear with me. Um, so we'll, the first cut will be from the back of the back pad down to the other foot, okay? And the next cut will be up the middle, and I'll show you this close up, but up the middle. Then the next cut will be from this the back of the front pads connected to the other side. Um, so yeah, now I will show you the close up of those incisions. Okay guys, so the first incision, like I said, is gonna be from the back of the back foot pad connecting it to the other of the other pad. Um, so what you'll do, then you'll start your incision right at the base of this pad. You'll make it in, you'll go down, you'll cut around the anus, up the other leg, and you'll stop it at the base of that pad, okay? So I'll do that now. Okay, now the secret to this one, I see this a lot, guys when they do it themselves will end up over here or over here. The, the key to this is to end at the base, the right at the center of the base of that back pad on both sides. The second incision is the incision from the base of the anus by the tail up to the base of the skull. We'll stop about mid neck, mid of the neck. Um, so what you'll do, you'll go around the anus and around the genitalia on one side slightly you want to leave that on there for when you get it checked in by the fishing game they want proof of sex on there so you'll start your incision here we'll just go up like i said just leave the the genitalia the proof of sex on one side and then just make as straight of a cut as you can up the center of the belly through the chest And where you stop is right here. This will be the third and final incision on your rug skinning job. What you want to do is you want to start in the center of the base of this pad. Same as the back pads right in the center, right at the base of the pad. You'll make your incision straight down here. Follow this line across the center chest. You'll then go across the other side. Do the same thing. Stretch the arm out so you can get a cleaner cut. Do the same thing. Just follow that up and stop at the base of that pad and I will do that for you right now. You see where I just made that center line I connected it. Now you, what you want to do is match up that cut on the other side so you don't have uneven, mark, uneven lines. And then again, just stop right at the base of that pad. So now that you made all your incisions, what we'll do now is we're at the pause. Um, what you want to do is you want to cut these off at the at the joint, okay? Cut the pad the paws off at the joint and leave them alone. Take it to your taxidermist. Let them skin the feet out. Um, and you'll do the same with the head. I'll show you how to do the head when we get there. But for your feet, it's the same on all four feet. Just where this bends at that at that joint. What you want to do is you want to make your cut right where that bends, okay? So cut in, you'll see it separate right here. And you'll just twist it off, then you'll finish cutting through the meat there, the tendons and everything else. Then separate it, 
And there you go. You got one foot disconnected. Like I said, it is the same on all four feet. Same process. Just like this, right at that joint. Take it to your taxidermist just like that. Okay, so once you have the feet all disconnected at the joint, um, the next thing to do now is just skin it off. Uh, real quick, a tip on the tail. Do the same thing with the tail as you did with the feet. This goes for on anything from your anything, your, your raccoons, coyotes, to your bears, your mountain lions. Just grab the tail, cut right at the base of the tail, and then you'll hit the tailbone, and then just cut right through it. You'll be able to just cut right through that tailbone. And there you go, I disconnected the tailbone from the body. Leave the tailbone in, let your taxidermist skin it. So from now, what I'll do is I'll skin this down to the head, um, and once we get there, I will show you how to disconnect the head. All right, so now we'll disconnect the head. I will warn you before I do this, if you are a little squeamish, you may want to just skip over this part. Um, but what you'll do is once you skin it down to this point, you see where the head, the head connects to the spine where that neck junction is? It's right here, okay? What you'll do is you'll take your knife, make a deep incision there. This is right at the base of that skull, okay? And then just make that cut all the way around. You'll cut through the esophagus. You got to cut through everything here. Okay, all the way around and you'll hit that neck junction where the, the skull connects the, to the spine and just once you cut all the meat to that you'll see it just kind of, it kind of separates itself and then you'll just grab it A lot of people think you need to use a saw, cut the neck off, whatever. That is the same on every animal, whether it's a deer, a moose, a bear, a mountain lion, whatever. You can cut it off right at the base of that skull. And there you have it. That is how you skin any, any animal for a rug or a life-size mount. Um, this is how you should bring it to your taxidermist. Leave the head, the feet, and the tails intact. Let your taxidermist skin those. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Check out our website to see our other videos and skinning guides. It's wild2walltaxidermy.com. Can't wait to see you.